Hey there, this is Sarah. I know I haven't made a video in like a really, really long time. Um, actually I've only made, well, really one video welcoming you to, welcoming you to my channel. Um, but I'm going to try and make a whole bunch of videos like today. Um, so I'm probably going to be wearing the same outfit. Or you're probably only going to see my shirt. But anyway, I'm probably going to be wearing the same uh, uh, shirt and having the same hair for quite a few videos. Because I'm hoping I can get a whole bunch of them done today. I've tried to make other videos before and they haven't turned out very great. Like I tried to, um, I have like a, you know, like a digital camera. I try to take my camera with me while I go and um, pick up my sister. And every place I put it in the car, it would fall over or it just, it would be like staring at the car seat or it, you wouldn't be able to see me and it was just really, really annoying. Um, I'm still going to try and figure out a way to get my camera to stay in one spot, like while I go pick up my sister, because I do spend quite a bit of time picking her up. But anyway, um, I am done with my classes for fall term, and so I'm on Christmas break right now. I'm really, really excited. I stayed up like super late last night so I could finish all my finals, because um, I had like one online class that I had to have finished by today at midnight, um, or like, you know, tonight, like before midnight. Um, but I got it done last night, so I'm done. Um, so I guess I'll just get started. So I'm going to be talking about all of the books and short stories that I read in my um, Intro to Fiction class. And some of them I liked, some of them I hated, and I will let you know all of my opinions. So here we go. Okay, this is my folder that I um, kept all my stuff in for the class, and I've kind of emptied it out. But I have like kind of notes that I've taken from the books. Um, so I will be referring to those quite often. Um, so let's just kind of set that aside. The first thing that we read um, was actually like it was. There were sh uh, several short stories out of an anthology. It's this one. It's called Seagull Reader Stories, second edition by Joseph Kelly. Um, I think he's just like the one that like put it all together because obviously he didn't write all of these stories because there's like tons. Of That's not even on the screen. Anyway. Um, there's like tons of stories, and we read, we read eight of them, um, they're all by different people, but there were so many other ones that we didn't read. There's gotta be, like, at least 30 stories in here. Yeah. Um, so we didn't read, I'm not, I didn't write these in order, um, of how we read them, I just kind of read them in order of, like, where they are in the book. Um, but the first one that I have on my list is What You Pawn, what you pawn I Will Redeem by Sherman Alexi. And I really remember this story. Um, it's basically about this Indian who's kind of gone crazy. Um, he's homeless and I think it's in Seattle? I don't remember. I haven't read these stories since like October. Um, yeah, okay, well anyway. He is homeless and he um, sees this, um, oh shoot, what's it called? He sees this regalia that um, his grandmother used to wear. Is he either his grandmother or his mother? I am sorry, I don't remember all the details. Anyway, um, either his grandmother or his mother used to wear and he sees it in a pawn shop and he wants to buy it and he basically, like he'll... Like he goes in and the guy t tells him how much money he, had, he needs and it's like a ton of money and he doesn't have that obviously because he's homeless. Um, but he somehow, like he keeps on getting jobs like variously and then he spends the money on like alcohol and stuff like that. So he ends up having like no money at the end anyway but he still gets the regalia because the guy feels really bad that he had basically stolen his grandmother's regalia and so he like the store owner had and so he kind of wanted to just like give it back to him so that's what happened um yeah but the guy goes like crazy in the end he's like he he puts the regalia on and he thinks he's his grandmother and he starts dancing in the street um but it is like a, a pretty interesting read if you want to read it um let's see the next one on my list is a rose for emily by william faulkner um i've read this story so many times i've read it in middle school i read it several times in high school and uh, now i've read it in college <laughs> Um, the story is creepy and, uh, you need to read it. It is a really, really good read, but, um, it's basically about this girl whose dad kind of pushed all of her, all of the men who like wanted to marry her away. And then, you know, he dies and she kind of goes like nutso and kind of locks herself in her house. And she does end up like getting, 
engaged. Okay, the next one was The Yellow Wallpaper by Charlotte Perkins Gilman. I have like a little list over here. Oh yeah, I already said that. Anyway, um, The Yellow Wallpaper. Oh my goodness, that is a creepy story. We read a whole bunch of, like we read all these short stories we read right before Halloween, so it was like really, really fitting. But, um, I know you probably can't tell, but I'm like, I'm fidgeting with this book. Um, I just need to put it down. There. <laughs> um, I fidget with things. Anyway, um, oh geez, the yellow wallpaper. Okay, so this, ba this lady is basically going through part postpartum depression. There we go. Postpartum depression. And, um, when the story was written, they didn't know about postpartum depression. They just thought that the woman was, you know, like trying to get attention or whatever. Um, so in the story, the lady had just given birth to a baby. We don't know if the baby actually survived the birth or not because this woman is crazy or she goes crazy. Um, so her husband is a doctor and her brother is also a doctor. And basically what they do is they move her to a house out in the country where no one, like there is no one. And she gets locked up in this upstairs room that has a whole bunch of windows, but it has this ugly yellow wallpaper. And, like, she's, like, locked in there. And, like, she can't go outside. She can't go downstairs. She can't do anything. She does, she's, she's not allowed to save her baby. Um, so, like, we kind of, my cl I, when I say we, I mean, like, my class and I. Because um, we would, like, read a book and then, like, discuss it in class. And then read a book and discuss it in class. Like, that's what we did. Anyway. Um... We were kind of thinking the baby didn't make it, um, because she's always saying, oh, the baby's so quiet, it's not making any noise. So the baby is either not there, or it's not alive. Um, yeah. She goes crazy, she thinks that she sees herself in the wallpaper, and she tears all the wallpaper off the wall. Her husband ends up fainting, and then she crawls over his dead body. Like, she, like, she crawls along the wall, like, on the floor. She, like, crawls, like, right up against the wall. And she's like, oh, well, now I have to climb over him, like, when I'm crawling on the floor around the wall. Yeah, so she obviously goes crazy. Um, the next one was Young Goodman Brown by Nathaniel Hawthorne. I didn't understand that story to, I couldn't understand it to save my life. I still don't understand it at all. I don't quite remember much about it. It's basically, I guess, about this guy who was supposed to go into the town. It was, I mean, it was, like, written, you know, back in, like, you know, I think the story was set in, like, the 1400s or something. Anyway, um, so this guy has to go away from his wife or girlfriend or something for a while, and he goes into the forest, and he sees the devil, and the devil, like, tempts him or something, and then he sees, like, his pastor talking to the devil or something. I don't know. Anyway... It's, he go, a lot of the short stories we read are about people going crazy. I just realized that. But yeah, um, it's really interesting. If you can understand it, leave a comment below. Okay. <clears> Hills <throat> Like White Elephants by Ernest Hemingway. Um, I've read this, I read this story once in high school and then, so I kind of knew a little bit about it before. And then we read it in class. And it's basically a story about, like, this man and this woman who, the woman is obviously pregnant, and the man is trying to, like, force her to get an abortion, and so, but they never say that at all, but th that's what is happening in the story, and it's really sad, um, because, like, at the end, she's like, okay, I give up, let's just, let's just go, and so that's what happens. Um, I guess I ruined that one for you. Okay. Where Are You Going, Where Have You Been by Joyce Carol Oates. I honestly don't remember that story at all. Um, the Things They Carried by Tim O'Brien. We didn't actually read the entire thing because I had read that book in high school. Um, and I was like, oh my gosh, we have to read that whole entire thing in one night. Like, that's crazy. Um, but it was just an excerpt from it because we had to read that and something else. I can't remember what it was. But we had to read that and something else. And... That would just be insane to read in a day. Um, it was just an excerpt, and it's about the Vietnam War, if you haven't read it. It is a good book to read, if, especially if you're, like, really into, like, wars and stuff. Um, he mentions a lot about the weight that they had to carry. Um, like, you know, he mentions, like, specific, like, weights of things, like weights of guns and ammunition and, like, 
the backpack that, you know, like, the, everyone carried, and then, like, the specific things that, like, specific people had to carry, like, the medic had to carry certain things, and the communications person had to carry certain things, and, like, he would, like, say, like, how much they weighed and stuff. Um, you know, and then, like, this whole time you feel like you're, like, when you're reading it, at least I did, I felt like I was, like, just having all this weight just, like, heaped upon my shoulders, and, like, you know, in the Vietnam War, it was, like, terrible. It was, like, super scary, and, um, I mean, from what I remember, you know, like, in history classes and stuff, like, I would, I mean, I already know that I'm not made to go in the military, but if I had to go in the military in the Vietnam War, I probably would have, like, killed myself because I would just have gone crazy, which would be fitting with the stories that we read. <laughs> and then the last short story that we read was Everyday Use by Alice Walker, and I am sorry, but I honestly do not remember that story. So those are the short stories that we read at the beginning of the term and look at my next videos for ones that for I'll do like a, a video for each novel that we read um because the short stories you know they're short um so I'll see you in the next video bye